Okay guys, uh, here I am uh, right now with another review uh, of another upgrade kit that I've actually uh, took a while to uh, uh, acquire just because I keep forgetting about it. Uh, and well, I had other stuff that I, I wanted to get before this, but um, okay, so this is the uh, Ironhide uh, Cannons uh, upgrade. Uh, it's by Fans Want It. Uh, it's actually a pretty sweet upgrade. It just makes it more uh, movie accurate. It does come with these two blades right here. It would actually connect into one uh, one blade. And you could hold it like that. But the thing is, you can only hold it with one hand, which kind of looks stupid, in my opinion. Uh, it looks like... Uh, this actually looks like a Sentinel Prime Sword. Uh, anyway, so these cannons actually come, they're not attached, so you have to actually attach them uh, yourself. You just tab it in, they come, they come separate. That's it, that's basically it. As you could all see, uh, for all of you that has this figure ready, we all know how crappy the uh, stock uh, cannons are. So compare that to this. Yeah, no, that's uh, a no-brainer when I saw this up there. I'm like, okay, I have to get it. Uh, the only drawback is that it actually doesn't stow away anywhere in, uh, in his alt mode, which is fine. Uh, you know, I'm not going to have him displayed in alt mode anyway. This is like a a leader class figure, he needs to be displayed in his bot mode. Uh, okay, so when you uh, put this in, there's actually these uh, little grooves right here that th this part of the tab right here fits into. And it just squeezes onto that. And that's it. It just sits there, basically. Uh, it's not too bad. It actually stays on pretty well. It's not like I'm gonna move them around too much. This is a d display piece. I'm an adult collector, not a five-year-old. Uh, so let's put the other one on. Wait, let me move that out of the way. Make it a little bit easier. Okay, that's it. Or tab that on first, which. Yeah, there you go. And put this on. That bad boy on there. So, yeah. Uh, there he is with the, uh, with the uh, cannons. Uh, let me just position him. Because uh, the guns are pretty uh, heavy. Look how, how like beefy that is compared to the original one. Also, when, while you have him on there, uh, you could have him hold each blade. Actually, let's put this in reverse. So, I kind of like this look, but oh, it's not come. It's not going to the hole. No, that's not what she said. Uh, okay. Looks like I can't pose, have it, uh, have a reverse grip on this. It looks like there's only one way you could hold it, which is okay. That's fine. Now, look at that. Look at how big those things are. Okay. You could actually put these here as well. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I think it looks stupid. Uh, but it's an option, a display option uh, available to you. Should you choose? Ah, what the hell? I'm gonna do it. You guys suck. I'm doing this for you. So, there you go. This tab's in right here. So, you know, yeah, right? Doesn't really look that good, in my opinion. Uh, even if you have it like uh, it still doesn't look good. I don't know. But, like I said, an option available to you should you choose to employ it. 
Yeah. So there we go. Now these these swords you can actually stow into these mech tech ports here. Uh, kind of gives them that winged winged look. At first, I didn't know wh how how to feel about it, but I kind of like it because because of how big the the arms became with the uh, with the cannons on it. Kind of evens them out a little bit. Just you know fills them out. Uh, yeah, that's how he looks on the side. He looks with his little butt flap kibble, which is really isn't anything we could do about it. Ooh, I hope I did not break anything. I may have, but no, I didn't. Thank God. Yeah, just gotta tab those guys in. Sorry, I haven't messed with this figure in a while. Clearly. Painfully obvious, I know. Okay. So yeah, uh, as you can tell, the guns actually tend to hide these uh, uh, pieces over here. Because I know a lot of people are not a fan of that, that panel kibble on his arms. Because for a leader, leader class figure, come on, you can, there really isn't an excuse for them to have crap like that lying around uh, yeah so this, I, I love how this guy looks freaking huge look at that it's so imposing I just like come on seriously would you like to mess with this dude if you see him running up at you no I didn't think so I wouldn't either uh, okay so uh, that's it for the fans want it uh, Iron Head Cannons upgrade. Uh, let me know what you guys think on the uh, comments below. Uh, what your opinions are. Uh, any, anything you want. And, oh, by the way, uh, I'm just going to show you guys how cool my dad is. This is my dad's phone. Okay. And look what his background is. That's right. Megatron. My dad. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, take it easy. It's Alan Monster as always. I'm out.